Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello everyone. I am Cyber Reviewer. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is now the fifth time I've tried to make this video. Uh, the first couple times were because I had to go through different iterations of my design because it wasn't right. And then uh, the last two times my computer is misbehaving. And all right, so let's get on with it. Uh, so I um, I've been working on this um, iPhone holder. I had originally printed this guy. Uh, it, it works fairly well uh, for what I was trying to do with it. Uh, the problem is, is when the phone is in the holder here, uh, it just the angle is a little bit too far back. Uh, so it, uh, or a little too far forward, I mean. Um, so when you're looking at it, you're kind of looking down on the screen and it's just hard to look at. So in grand engineering fashion, I, I said to myself, well, I can make this better. So I uh, pulled up Fusion, uh, whipped up a design based on, essentially on this kind of basic premise here with this little what I call cradle where the phone sits and then the base and what I did is I separated the cradle from the base and then made it swivel, uh, swivel capable and then uh, so you can adjust the angle and then tighten uh, screws down uh, to make it uh, whatever angle you want so original design is here let me uh, see if I can uh, change it there we go so here's the original design you can see uh, the cradle on top and then the little uh, screws on the side, bolts that you can tighten down. Uh, so, and it swivels back and forth just like that. So, uh, what happened with this design is you can see these these screws, bolts here are really, really small. <laughs> um, and let me pull it out and show you some uh, some of the details here. So, um, it's a uh, very teeny, um, and the threads here are very teeny. Uh, and the minute I put them into the, the, the cradle here, they kind of just stripped out. Uh, you can see you can don't even have to push them in. And it turns out uh, that's two reasons. First off, the threads are very small. So with the, the size that I was printing it and the, the resolution, which is 0.2 millimeters, it didn't really have a lot of uh, area here. That's number one. Number two, I printed it this way. Um, and so there's actually some, I didn't put any supports in this hole, so there was actually some uh, stringing going on inside of the hole, so the threads inside of the hole didn't really uh, form completely. So uh, there's no actual threads inside there. Uh, so okay, fine, that's uh, prototype number one. I moved on to prototype number two. So upsize the, the size of the threads here. Here I will, uh, again, we'll zoom in here. So we got these two guys. You can see they're significantly larger, um, a little bit easier to wrap your fingers around um, this way. So I created the same exact design with the threads. Um, and that's when I realized, well, let me take this apart and show you all I had made this hole the exact same size as the thread width um, and so what does that mean well when I put it in it kind of doesn't want to go in very well um, and it actually stopped the threads from from it was very difficult to get the thread into the hole really really difficult um, and so okay well that's an easy fix so um, and I also thought that uh, quite honestly the um, the size of the thread was just a little bit too small uh, I got kind of fat fingers, um, so I thought, well, I'll just make it a little bit bigger. So um, let's move on to prototype number three. Um, you can see uh, it's just a wee bit bigger. So let me uh, zoom in here. So uh, that's what you got in terms of the uh, actual prototype. Um, so this is significantly larger. Uh, it's a lot easier to grab um, and turn. And then this guy, right? So I made this model, and you can see it's 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 easy to grab, easy to turn, easy to tighten down. The threads work um, pretty well, mostly pretty well. If I hold that straight, right? Uh, and so I upsized the hole a little bit by millimeter, so it's a little bit bigger than the thread width, and then the threads inside I printed at a different uh, geometry. Um, let me see if I can show that to you. They actually look, they turned out very well. Um, let's see, there's probably not enough light to get in there. Uh, maybe there is, I don't know. Well, if you can see, let me see if I can uh, get this guy to focus inside there. 
Nope. There you go. There you go. Yeah, you see, they turn out very well. Um, all right, so um, that's when I learned in Fusion. I actually designed this part in half, and I just mirrored it. That's when I learned that if you mirror a left-handed thread, when you mirror it, it turns into a right-handed thread. So I didn't. I only made one type of bolt. I made a left-handed thread, and I just printed two of them. And so this guy gets about uh that far i'm surprised it went in that far to be honest with you and that's about all the further it goes <laughs> okay awesome so on to prototype number four it is identical to that prototype except i mirrored everything but the thread um uh i uh, created the hole uh, and did the threads manually on this side and you can see that it it works very well it tightens down um, it locks into place pretty well when the threads when the bolts are tightened so it's awesome uh, so uh, I printed it put my phone in it um, works pretty well right oops there we go works pretty well and I tilted the phone back to the acceptable viewing angle and it fell over <laughs> and I was like oh great awesome uh, just like uh, Joel Telling's uh, video where he had a subscriber print him a phone holder. He put his phone in and it flopped over because he has a big phone. My phone's not that big, but it still flopped over. And I'm like, well, crap. Uh, so I, obviously the base is not wide enough and this thing's pretty far from the top. It's tall. So a lot of force when you tilt it back. So that's not exactly what I wanted. So now we're on to prototype number five um that led me back full circle to the original gray i printed it in i was just printing with whatever was on the um on the printer so what i did here is two things uh first uh, let me focus a little bit here um uh so first i made this guy the the distance to the back I pushed the entire cradle forward a little bit to give a little bit more um, on the back and then I added this fancy little arm here that you can extend out when you have something that's tall you just extend it out and it gives it significant more uh, leverage on the back so I can actually put both my iPhone and my iPad in this guy tilt it all the way back almost at a 90 degree angle um, and it still holds it perfectly uh, in the correct angle so this uh, addition of the arm here was great. I would have, uh, I still prefer, I wish I could get two arms, one on each side to give it a little bit more left and right stability this way. Um, but I haven't quite figured that design out yet. So uh, this is a uh, prototype five. Uh, it's actually like version 15 of the Fusion file, to be honest with you. Um, I did some tweaking on the chamfers and a variety of other things, but uh, I think I think this is it. It works. <laughs> so after two weeks of futzing around with this on and off, um, I have a design that works. So, and uh, we went from uh, you know what I'll call uh, a little Goldilocks uh, moment here, where we went from um, you know too small, too hard, <laughs> you know too small, too small just right sort of moment here with the nuts uh the bolts and so lessons learned but this is the beauty of making it home and 3d printing and rapid prototyping i went through this uh really uh, process pretty quickly in the grand scheme of things it didn't really cost me a whole lot I mean, you know a dollar or two in filament and uh you know okay so it'll cost me probably 15 to 30 hours of print time but <laughs> um i got what i needed out of it so there you go, uh, that's the video. So um, I'm currently working on the video for the 100 subscriber um, uh, prize. So I look for those videos in the near future. Um, on this video, if you have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up as always. If you don't, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. And I uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks everyone for watching.